Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Pisces for April 2021 for love and relationship. There is 100% misunderstanding between you and someone, dear Pisces. And I get here that you feel that you are in a struggle at this time. And you feel that struggle is, not, is getting the best out of you. It feels here that your person want to compete with you. Arguing, there are some arguments, but I get here that... He or she doubt themselves and they think that you are really like, you know, just maybe with other people because that's his or her misunderstanding about you. And I get here that they want really just to cut it off. I get here this person maybe needed your help before in the past and they need really like you know, some money from you or the helping hand. And I get here you did. You are always like, you know, a giver. And I get here that you want to isolate that money from that person because they decline you. That's what you think. And it says here that you have been really under doubt. You do love this person. You care about him or her. They care about you too. But I get here again, misunderstanding between you and this person. It feels to you that maybe there is a competition. There is someone else. Maybe they are not committed or reliable or to be really communicating very well all the time. They always tease me. They always like to you know, make me jealous, make me angry, make me unhappy. And you are like you know, feeling that you feel like you know, rejected. You feel declined, even though that you are doing a lot. You do a lot. You do your best. But this person feel like you know, that. It's kind of like you feel that maybe they are uh, after you or want you materially. Like you know, that they want to benefit out of you and you don't feel the love. Nevertheless, it says here that you and this person love each other very much. That's a connection between you two. So if you think that this person doesn't care for you, actually he or she does care. They love you, they care for you. But I get here, you feel like, no, okay, that's it. I am going to be really cutting it off with this person. I'm going to decline him or her because they show me indications that maybe they are involved with other people. I don't want this person to be involved with someone else. And you are like, okay, so this person think that you are acting maybe immature or childish. And I get here that you are kind of like, okay, I'm waiting. Now what? But it says here that your person is acting mature and childish and they are accusing you with the wrong accusations. And I say here, this person is really confused about you because they are confused. They keep confusing you. With what? He or she can be sneaky about something. And you are like, I think my person is really cheating and holding on someone else. That's what you think. And your person, I get here trying to really like, you know, email you, message you. Or it could be like, you know, something, emails, online. They are spying on you. And I get here, they are trying to tease you with someone else. And you think that they are involved with someone else. That's why there is that misunderstanding again. Because I guess here, you are confused about your person. That's the confusion. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to tell. And it says here that your person is confused about you too. See, that's between you two. So you might really like know a state or put a picture online or social media. And you show your person that you are, in, you are partying, you are having fun, you have friends around you, and this person take you in the wrong 
meaning or something and they think that you are the one who's fooling around so they go really and put in a picture for him or her like you know, with someone else and you are like oh my god they are fooling around this person is holding on you and won't really settle down a relationship with you look at this look at that they want to stay with you forever but since they have been really spying on you, they misunderstand you, they go and behave with their own behavior. So that's the misunderstanding. That's, they are confusing the heck out of you and you confuse the heck out of them. Now what? Your person is lucky, but they are hurt. They are trying to hurt you and they are hurt. Oh. Okay, but your person think that you are the one. You are going out of your mind right now and you say, he or she did this, they are doing that, they are doing this. And it says here, stop it, you need to relax, you are jumping into conclusions at this time, see? You are jumping into conclusions about something is not there. You need to relax. You know, your person can be very tricky and show you that it's not just you partying, I have a party too. It's not just you have someone, I have someone too. You don't have someone. And the other person doesn't have someone also. But they are trying to show you something is not there. Like, you could be really catching your person, like, you know, with a picture with someone, but this is kind of like old stuff and trying to show you something now to get to you. You want to know, you are approaching your person and you want to know the truth. And it says here, you never get anywhere with this person because you are not getting the truth out of him or her. And I get here that suddenly this person is really coming to you with intimacy and all of that love. Even like, you know, if you are involved with someone who's really married, I get here they are choosing one because they are divorcing. But I get here that your person is really coming back to you, some of you, not everybody. No matter what, I get here that you go out, you party, you, you leave, like, you know, you go places, you travel, you go distant, and your person doesn't like it, and they think that you go parties or, like, you know, you go somewhere or traveling because you want someone else. But they are getting the wrong idea. And I get here that your person is kind of, like, overwhelmed and stressed out, and they want to stop you from partying with other people. See... Your person always suspicious, and I get here when they are suspicious, they act or behave different to show you that because your person's ego is in the way. See, this is their ego, okay? This is their sneaky side, kind of like, okay, you are doing something, and because you are doing something, I'm going to show you I'm doing something. Neither one of you is doing something. I am not getting that. I get here, you just confuse each other, and there is that misunderstanding. But the love for one another is there. You love each other, but you have to really explain yourself. You don't have to be really chasing after your person and try to explain too much, a lot, and say, hey, I'm not doing this. Don't overdo it because you will be pushing it too much. Because I get here, they will come to their time to realize that you are not doing all of this. Because it says here your person, no matter what happened, he or she is going to be with you in a committed relationship. That's a commitment. That's a settle down. That's what your person wants. And beside here, it says here, you are jumping into conclusions. You need to relax. Your person is not with someone else. They don't want someone else. They want you. But you are like, no way. Hold on. You become moody, I want to end it, I want to finish it, I want to walk away. Nobody is walking away. You're going to be together, patient, and just like, you no, know, really try not to be teasing your person with something. You come out of your way sometimes to do something to make them jealous, to make them shake it a little bit, 
and you come on, as, across like you know, being misunderstood and your person go on to make you more jealous and more angry and more upset and it just get complicated more and more than it is. You don't need this mess. You need just to relax and let the, your person approach you, which is good. If you are a male, approach your person like you know, with honesty. It's really best that way. Because hiding behind the scene is not going to work. For females, let the person come after you more. I'm not saying don't contact them, but you can, but reasonable. Let the other person like to contact you more. It's really better. Best of luck, dear Pisces, and I hope you enjoy this reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me, and the link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. And click when you click on my website, or you cut either you cut and paste or click on it, or you can be really like you know, just punching mysticalaziza.com, click on reading prices, read the page. You know, I do not work Saturday and Sunday, I'm sorry. And uh, after purchasing your reading, give me a call. The phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.